This is the Gloucester end of the Gloucester to Hereford Canal. You might have seen my film on this bit, it's been magnificently restored, but I thought it'd be a good idea to go and look to see if we can find anything at the Hereford end. I understand it's a little bit more of a challenge. This is the oldest map I can get my hands on and it's really uh, not a lot of use. We know the canal goes through Withington and there you can actually see a section of it but from there onward it goes missing. Now if we look on this line drawing you can see that it actually follows the line of the railway more or less. If we go back to this map Nothing there. Mm. This is going to be good. I did a little drive round to see if there was anything canal recognisable nearer the centre. But uh, this is what it looks like nowadays. It's all been industrialised. We're actually going to start here, Elston Park, because there has been a little bit of restoration in the area, if we can find it. And there's parking. This is Elston Park on the outskirts of Hereford then. Okay, we'll head off. The Hereford end then. This is about as near as you get I think, as far as parking is concerned. Or anything remaining. From what I've read, we will find out. The map suggests our canal is uh, over there somewhere. It's a nice day for it. We've reached the uh, field edge. Uh, doesn't look very hopeful. We should turn left, but let's go right to see if we can pick anything up over there. Oh, Lady Luck favours the bold. There's our canal. At least I'm pretty sure it is. That's all the looks. Received royal consent in 1791. Completed in 1845 and after a mere 36 years was closed in 1881. We'll head Hereford direction, see how far we get. Looks to have become a dribbling stream from here. And a little bit farther along, looks to have been filled in completely. It's a pleasant walk, so let's keep going. You never know, hope springs eternal. A rotted out post there, looks as if it was uh, here when the canal was. May have been. Was that a bit too romantic? Probably. They're going to have their work cut out if they're going to reopen this thing. I don't suppose the householders over there that have reclaimed the land are going to be too pleased either. Feels like we're on the towpath, that could be the site of the uh, canal just to our right. Possible. Ground is rising now. There's allegedly a tunnel, or well, there was a tunnel here. I don't suppose we're going to have much chance of access to it, but uh, ooh, we never know, it's fencing up there. Unfortunately, it looks more like a pumping station or transformer. And I can't see any other way forward from here. Let's see if we can go around it. Main road ahead. We'll take a look down here. This is the, pick up the alignment, if nothing else. Oh. Seems to be protecting something. Somewhere. Oh yeah. That's as good as we're going to get. Tunnel entrance. Good. 
I think this is where this um, draws to a close really. I don't think there's access to any more canal but we'll see if we can find the other end of the tunnel. Take a look. The canal then was started in 1893 and took till 1845 to get here. So it's 52 years to build the thing. It ran for about 40, so took longer to build than its operational life really. Sorry, it closed by the GWR in 1880, so 35 years worth of work. Where is it all now? We're our way to our right. We should see what happened to it. This is where we end up. It's where you cross the railway. And no sign of our, our canal. We'll half the equation then, that's the railway. Ah, uh, canal probably disappears in there somewhere. Yeah, if we look around the corner, that doesn't look very helpful, does it? I don't think we'll find much down there. Here you can see the railway making its left turn to go into town. Somewhere the canal crossed that. Time to retreat. Which brings us back to square one. Right. The canal carries on along there a little ways. There was a road bridge once upon a time. Let's follow along, see what uh, see what's revealed. Yeah, starting to look in need of a bit of dredging. The team have added a slipway here. They've also added which uh, looks something like a wharf. Oops. And that's as far as we've dredged it. So I'll just open that section up. The rest back to Gloucester, waiting to be done. Looks grand in the sunlight. Very clear as well. Then from here onwards. Uh, difficult to know what's the line of the canal really. We've made access by this stream, not necessarily the canal. But, uh, it's a bit uh, sort of iffy, see what I mean? <laughs> and it ends in a wooden fence, effectively blocking the way. Gloucester to the Hereford Canal then. Give it a shot. We've looked at the optimism at the Gloucester end. They're uh, doing fantastic things in opening the canal. And we've looked at the Hereford side. Uh, quite frankly looks hopeless. But these people are quite determined, so who knows. Hopefully you enjoyed that look. I'll try and do some more bits of the canal. I can find more info. I'll take a peek at what's going on. Thanks for joining me, thanks for your company. If you could click subscribe down the bottom right, it would be nice. And you can always like, and if you have a social media site, share. It does me no good if you don't do them any good. And if you enjoyed that, why not join me on the next adventure?